I hit that light and it just made it really light. And now it's dark. That is so funny that everything, the light was perfect before I hit start. <laughs> Good morning. What's up? Hey. It's a miraculous Friday. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Miss Regina. I love you. Hello, everyone. Hi, Tanisha. Thank you for that weather forecast. What's going on over here on Instagram? Let's see, Tanisha. Let's see. It is currently 41 degrees in Nashville, Tennessee with a high of 62. A little nippy there. How's it going, everyone? I love you guys so much. I missed you since yesterday. Uh, we've been working really hard. Good morning. Love the shirt. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure Thad loves it. She loves blue. Hola, Liz. Como estas? How's everybody this morning? Hey, Karen and Sharon. How's everybody? Y'all good? Got a good work today? Your handful is enough. It's going to be good. Going to be marvelous. I pray you guys have had a miraculous week. Can't believe it's Friday already, but it is. Um, it's, uh, oh, it's your first time. Well, welcome. Welcome very much. Look, work very much. Welcome. I was trying to understand your name, but I'm not good with the Instagram names. But welcome. We're glad to have you this morning. Okay, I'm going to go into prayer. Y'all ready? I know y'all are ready. Excited this morning. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's December 1st. Somebody wrote, welcome to December. Amen. Hey, y'all. This is our last month of the year. We're going to finish it out with an exclamation point. Right? All right, y'all. Let's get ready to go into prayer. Y'all ready? It is 557. Tell God how good he is. Let's go. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone. If you're celebrating a birthday today or over the weekend. Hi, Sharetta. I love you very much. Thank you for being so generous. Hey, Scarlett. Y'all ready? Donna Victoria. Let's go. Hey, Sandy. It's true. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace, your mercy, and your love. We're so excited. Father, thank you for allowing the Warrior Nation to tune in with me this morning. God, thank you for the privilege of doing life with them, Father. And we just honor you for your goodness today. We honor you for what you've already done, what you are doing, and what you are about to do. God, we just magnify you and exalt you and proclaim that you alone are God and you alone are worthy of our praise. Lord, there is none like you. You have no rivals, no equals, no comparisons. You are the Lord and you rule and reign on the throne. You have never fallen off and you have never lost your power. You never forget your children, Lord. Know that you withhold any good thing from those who love you. And so this morning, God, we just cry out unashamed that we love you. Y'all type it in. Father, we love you. We love you, Lord God. We love you. And we thank you for being our God. We thank you for choosing us. We thank you, Jesus, for saving us, Father. We thank you for the very air in our lungs today. Lord, we're excited about today and the miracles that will happen today, Lord. The breakthroughs that will happen today. The good news that will come to us today. Lord, even the mailbox surprises that will come to us today, Father. We just thank you that even now you are turning things around. You're causing those who are in a position to bless us, to bless us, Father. We thank you that even now now you are dispatching your angels by the legions to go forth and war on our behalf bless on our behalf and protect on our behalf father we thank you for the favor your favor from heaven that is encompassing us like a shield and we just honor you for this time this morning we thank you for your precious holy spirit holy spirit we worship and adore you and we thank you for teaching us this word every single day we are honored by it and we thank you and oh jesus we love you and we just thank you for the work of the cross and what you have done for us that has given access into eternity and because the veil has been torn we can enter into the holy of holies anytime we get ready to have time with our father so we honor you today Lord God, please bless the warriors. They mean so much to me, Lord. Please protect them. Keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. And please, Father, surprise them today with the answers to their prayers. We honor you, Father. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Good morning, Warrior Nation. I love you guys so much. Make sure you tell the Lord how you love him this morning. He's good. We can never tell him enough. So we have to make sure we're always in a, in a place of just thanksgiving and gratitude. So with no more further delay, I have a very amazing miracle testimony today but let me first give you the weather forecast here in jackson mississippi right now on this marvelous miraculous december 1st it is 48 degrees with a high of 70 and the winds will be light and variable humidity is 94 uh, percent and Brittany did not give me the sun up and sun down they didn't give it to you what kind of weather app is that I don't understand how, when I look at the weather, it just tells me regular stuff. And when Brittany looks at the weather, it tells her that the winds are light and variable. I don't understand how I was believing God for a new purse in my mailbox. And Brittany has gotten four new purses from my mailbox. Our mailbox, but you know, you get my point. Over the last 30 days. Got a Brahmin last night. Bad too, ladies. If y'all are purse, y'all are purse girls. The girl got more purse. Brittany has gotten four 
Not me and Thad looking at her like, looking upside her head like, really? I said, you need your own P.O. box, Brittany. You know, so just to interject here, she's gotten four purses in the last 45 days. Really, last 30 days. And it just shows you how we serve a God who, who wants us to have more than enough. Like we studied on yesterday and how God told those people to ask the Egyptians. He told his people to ask those Egyptian ladies for their silver and their gold, for their finest things. And they were given so much that even their sons and their daughters were adorned in this jewelry. And that's and that was my whole point this morning. The Lord already knows Brittany has gotten four purses in the last 30 days. And yet he is still touching the hearts of people to bless her. So it's like God knows even when you have more than what you think is enough, he will he will cause you to walk into a season. I, I speak it over you right now. To where you are walking into a season, remember, where the uncommon becomes common, where we're in a season of miracles, and where you will have more than enough. So much so, you'll be so full that you will have to give it away. So I'm encouraged because if Brittany has four purses over the last 30 days, then that means I know I got some more stuff coming too, and I'm excited about it. And that means that y'all have some stuff coming for this year is out too, because guess what? We're under the same anointing. And so I thank God for this morning. I thank God for Brittany. Um, oh, she's going to tell me? Brittany just handed me something that says snow. No! <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. I was, was going to give you time. She is giving me the sun up, 6.44 a.m., and sundown is 4.55 p.m. Thank you so much, Brittany. I need to, I told Brittany, I need to rub your hands. She getting all the blessings. I need to rub her hands. But with that, y'all, I'm excited about it. I have an amazing miracle testimony to share today. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. If you're new to the page, we love you. Welcome. We're just a radical group of believers who take God at his word. Y'all ready for this testimony? It's a miracle testimony. Hello, warriors. I have had quite a few miracle testimonies since joining a year ago and buying my miracle tea. I have wrapped and still have a collection of things. I am waiting and knowing the Lord is working out. Um, working out. My husband and I were praying and hoping for a baby. Well, I had taken a pregnancy test and it came out negative. So I had an idea to put that pregnancy test, wrap it up in a miracle tea. She says, I promise not even a week later, I took another pregnancy test and he came up positive. Warriors, God is working. We are expecting our baby in June of 2018. Boy, I tell you, I think that one takes the cake. <laughs> she took a miracle tea and wrapped in a negative pregnancy test. Took another one not even a week later and it was positive. He is the God of miracles. I just love hearing these testimonies. Like, we have so many testimonies coming in now. That we literally are like, we're going to share this one today. And then another one to come in. Okay, we're going to share this. Like, we, and, and God said it's only going to get higher. It's, we're going to go higher. The miraculous is our new normal. I think that's the best way I can say it. So with that, we thank God for the testimony. And we declare that that baby shall be strong and mighty in the earth. Amen. Okay, with that being said, what else I got written? Um, the, where is it? What? Did you write? what? Okay, only other thing before we get into the words today, we're going to be in Exodus 4, 1 through 2. Your handful is enough. Type it in. I have enough. I have enough. Your handful is enough. We put some things on sale because today is Friday. We know y'all like sales. We know y'all like to shop on Fridays. So we put some things on sale today. We created a collection on the Warrior page that says... $15 and under. And with that, we put on sale the red Miracle Tees. We have some bling items on sale for $15 and under. We have the Jesus Girl Rock Tee for $15. And then we have some things for $10. We have the apron, the red aprons on sale for $15 and some other things. So once we're done praying and studying this word, you guys can go on the website and get whatever you want. But we do have a $15 uh, collection of things that you guys will really, really like because we like making you guys happy. And the only other thing is that the Miracle Throw order this round so that you guys can get them back uh, is going to be like mid-January. It We'll go in on Tuesday, December 5th. This last this last order, I think it was like round five. So that you guys will have your blankets for the new year. We need to go ahead and get that order in. So we will turn the order in on Tuesday. Brittany has the link posted. And we also want to thank you guys for your generosity. You know, we now have launched our ministry, uh, Warrior Nation Ministries. And you guys have been very generous to us, giving us gifts through our mailbox and through PayPal. We just want to say thank you for your giving. And you already know that God will always give seed to the sword. With that being said, let's jump into this word because I'm excited. Yes, you may see my phone, Brittany. My phone, Brittany. All right, here we go. Exodus 4, 1 through 2. Your handful is enough. Type it in. I have enough. Warrior Nation, share the video on Facebook. Type it in. I have enough. I have enough. Y'all ready? Here we go. Exodus 4. Moses. Oh, Moses. He is pro. Y'all, he is fighting. Anybody, I know. I, look, I don't know about y'all, but I know. 
I know I've made a lot of excuses when God has told me to do stuff, but I know you, the warrior nation has not done that. But Moses protested again. What if they don't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, what is that in your hand? I'm going to pause it right there one more time. But Moses protested. What if they won't believe me or listen to me? What if they say the Lord never appeared to you? Then the Lord asked him, I love this, y'all. What is that in your hand? And so again, we studied this not too long ago, but I'm taking it a different way today. Let me ask you this question. What's in your hands? What's within your reach right now? Moses had a valid concern. He had a valid request when we've been studying him. We know he left as a fugitive, as a murderer. He was probably on Egypt's most wanted list. And now God has told him to go back to his people. And Moses is like, what if they don't believe me? What if they won't listen to me? What if they don't believe that I am the one that you have called to deliver them from the hands of the Egyptians? Like, God, what if they don't believe me? And why should they believe me after what I have done? They didn't know a whole lot about me because I, even though I was born a Hebrew, I was raised Egyptian. And then on my first try, I blew it. And I went out and I killed an Egyptian, you know, trying to help my brethren. But it just went south. And you ever done something and you had really good intentions and it just went bad? Like, it, it, just, it just did not work out the way you wanted to and so Moses has a valid concern it's like okay God you know you're sending me back okay I get that but Lord what if they don't believe me and what if they won't listen to me and then the Lord responds I love this I I, I love how God has said well, well Moses you're right just stay in Midian I, I'll pick somebody else to do the work the Lord says Moses what do you have in your hand what do you have in your hand and I have to make this example you know, I've been on this thing on my grind for a minute now. And I can remember Britt and I, we sent out so many emails, this whole email about my book, When God is Silent, and how the Lord had called me to the nations for prayer and all these things. We used to write, we're like, surely somebody's going to call us back. We sent out email after email after email. We called bookstores. Won't you please just carry my book? Nobody will respond. Or, you know, it was just, it, we just tried and tried and emailed and called and waited and prayed. And it seemed like nothing happened. Nobody would listen. Nobody would open the door for me. And yet I knew that God. God had called me to the nations. I knew that God had called me to do something great. And the more time I stayed in prayer and I began to add fasting to those prayers, I knew that I was supposed to do something great. And yet I couldn't figure out how to get people to listen to me. I'm like, Lord, nobody will pay me any attention. No one will watch my videos. No one is inviting me anywhere. Lord, am I tripping? Did you not tell me this? And the more I began to pray and fast, it's like it just came upon me. Y'all, I kid you not. Let me see that, Brittany, one second. It just came upon me one day. They may not listen, Kels. But what do you have in your hands? What do you have right now? And you know what I had? A phone. Something that simple. All I had was a cell phone. But do you know that cell phone was enough? Because I began to turn on that phone. And I began to record myself praying. It didn't make any sense at all to me. But I began to record myself praying. Because in the beginning, I was doing videos, but I was not praying. And something came up on me. I know it was the Lord. And he said, record yourself praying. And it is the most abstract, awkward thing. I, I probably feel like Moses felt when the Lord told him to go. Like, why would somebody listen to me and I'm a murderer, Lord? Why in the world would you send me back to deliver people? And I, on my first chance, I blew it, God. And that's how I felt. I was like, people know how terrible I used to be and all those husbands I've had and all the mistakes I've made. I've lost everything. Why in the world would somebody listen to me, somebody who's bankrupt, somebody who's had two homes, lost a foreclosure and all these crazy things. Why would somebody even listen to me if I turned on my cell phone and closed my eyes and began to pray in a world where people want to be entertained? You know, and on social media, people want to laugh and look at dumb stuff. Why in the world would you call me out there like that and throw me out there, you know, and go into Egypt, so to speak, and have me pray in a world people don't want to hear prayer they want to laugh they get on social media to get entertained and God kept telling me to do it and as I began to do it I didn't see anything turn around but I kept doing I kept doing I kept doing then eventually y'all eventually my videos began to go viral it didn't happen overnight but I kept doing it and my whole point is this I never would have thought in a million years that my cell phone would have been the answer. I thought it would be a phone call. Remember? I thought it would be Oprah or Bishop Jakes or Steve Harvey. Somebody calling me and giving me my big break. Not knowing that my big break was already in my hands. What's in your hands? One more example I want to give you guys today. So this, this really touched me today because I remember how hard it was. And it's still hard. But it's the fact that God has proven himself faithful to me. Hasn't he proven himself faithful to you? What is he telling you to do that makes absolutely no sense? 
Do you think it made sense for God to tell Moses to go back to Egypt and deliver his people when he blew it the first time he even tried? You think that made sense to Moses. But what is he telling you to do today? I got one more example. Let's go quickly to 1 Kings 17. I'm going to take you there really quick because this came to me this morning uh, when I was talking about what's in my hands. and that, it, that So my whole point is that my phone was enough. Something I already had. There is something. I just, I'm speaking of you prophetically today. There is something. A lot of times we look for something out there. You know, but what you really need is already within your reach or you already have it. I was thinking about people who have started like major businesses out of things they already had in their closet. You know, like it doesn't take this big grand entrance. We never despise the day of a small beginning. I'm going to read this quickly, then we're going to go into prayer. This is 1 Kings 17, and I'm going to read for the sake of time 10 through 14. So he went to Zarephath as he arrived. We're talking about Elijah, the prophet Elijah, okay, y'all? And as he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering sticks, and he asked her, Would you please bring me a little water in a cup? And she was, as she was going to get it, he called out to her, Bring me a bite of bread too. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house. And I only, only have a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. Get this. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal. And then my son and I will die. Here we go. But Elijah said to her, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do just what you said, but make a little bread for me first. Then use what's left to prepare a meal for yourself and your son. Last verse. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says. There will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. Here's my point. This is my point. This, this, this lady, this widow, all she saw was that she had a handful of flour and enough oil to make one more piece of bread and die. And then Elijah the prophet comes and says, make it for me first. And so my point is this, she was looking at that handful of flour and that little bit of oil and saying, this, I'm just, we're just going to eat, look, son, we're going to eat this and we're going to die. And this is going to be the end of us, end of story, whatever. And then Elijah comes and says, no, make me a piece first. Does that make any sense at all? If I'm about to make my last piece fry my last little piece in my little oil and feed my son and myself and die. Why are you asking me for a piece first? The whole point is, you know that that handful of flour that she said, I only have a handful of flour. Do you know that was more than enough? And then the word that came to her was that you will never run out. So I ask you today, what is it that you have that you feel like is not enough when in actuality, it is more than enough. Matter of fact, type in, I have more than enough. What we need, we're going into prayer. We have four weeks left roughly in this year. If there is something in your life that you're supposed to be doing or using, we need to pray today that God will reveal to you what's in your hands. Because when I was typing in all those emails and I was crying and rolling around the floor because nobody would listen to me and I knew God had given me an assignment and I couldn't figure out how to get started. And then the Lord spoke to me. was like, just turn your phone on. And I wanted to argue and say it didn't make any sense when God was already giving me the answers. Could you be arguing with God, so to speak, about something today that he's already told you to do because it doesn't make any sense to you? But what I'm here to tell you is that what you have, the resource that you have right now, it's enough to get started. It may not be enough to take you to the end, but remember, before you can get to the end, you have to first get started. Your handful, warrior nation, is enough. We're going to take that little bit of flour and that little bit of oil, and we're going to make something happen by the power of the Holy Spirit. Do y'all agree with me this morning? Do you understand you have more than enough? Do not allow the enemy to come in and tell you you don't have enough. Because if I had let the enemy talk to me out of doing my videos, I wouldn't be before you today. God will honor your crazy faith. When you step out there and do stuff, people laughed at me. They talked to me. They said, this girl is crazy. They laughed at me then. They laughed at me. I was on my way out the door of my job. But guess what? God will have the final say so. Because when you trust God and you step out there, he will not let you be embarrassed. He will not let you fall. He will not allow your feet to slip. That handful of flour that you have and that little bit of oil that you have, I promise you it is enough because God will multiply it and he will put the supernatural on your natural and you will see things happen that you never thought was possible. God has great things in store for you this morning, y'all. Great things. And guess what? I keep saying it over and over and over. We're going to end this year with an explanation point and we are not going to miss it. Type it in. I'm not going to miss it. Let's go into prayer. 
Lord, you're so good. Lord, we thank you this morning. We will not miss this move. We will not. We will not look at what we have and say that it's not enough. Maybe not enough for us, but God, when you put your supernatural on top of our natural, Father, it is more than enough. And Father, we just thank you for this morning, for this excellent example in the scripture. Lord, Moses felt like he didn't have enough. He felt like they would not listen to him. But oh God, when you call us to a thing and when you place your message in our mouths, the people will have to listen. The world will have to stop and pay attention to what you have called us to do so god we thank you as we step forward today you know we're not gonna allow fear to stop us lord we're not gonna allow uncertainty to stop us god if you have called us to a thing we know that we have everything that we need to get that assignment done and lord right now we call forth the help everything that we need to go forth and do what you have called us to do god we thank you today for the help that is coming to us right now god and we honor you for it as i ask you every day i ask you now father to please go before the warrior nation and make every rugged path smooth every crooked place straight and bring every high place low i thank you father that they are safely out of the reach of their enemies and no weapon formed against your people, your sons, your precious sons, and your precious daughters shall prosper. God, and I thank you that every tongue that is risen up against them, everyone that has laughed at them, everyone who's laughed at their dreams, everyone who's told them to give up is not going to happen for you. God, I thank you that at this moment, you are shutting the mouth of the naysayers, God, and you're embarrassing those who said we would never make it because we cannot fail in you, and we honor you for today. As I always ask you, Father, please enlarge the territories of the warrior nation. Father, we want to know that they are successful. We want to know that they are blessed. God, we want to know they are walking in answer to prayer. They are dancing in their blessings. They are experiencing the supernatural and the miraculous on the daily basis. God, you have given me this promise and you have given me this word, God, that the uncommon is becoming common for the warrior nation. Lord, we just thank you for it today and we just honor you for allowing the uncommon to become common. Lord, but every day we experience breakthroughs, but every day we experience experience miracles where every day we experience victories God where every day we experience the miraculous Lord God where you favor us and promote us and open doors for us God because you have found a remnant of people who are pleasing in your sight and because you have found a remnant of people who love you for real who take you at your word for real who don't care what the world says God we take you at your word and we think there is a reward for that God you said if we're unashamed of you you won't be ashamed of us God and if we draw near to you you will draw near to us and we thank you for drawing near to us today Lord please Please place your hand up on the warriors, Lord, and keep them safe from all hurt, harm, and danger. I ask you from the bottom of my heart, God, to please bless them and bless them. Indeed, Lord, please bless them. Even for this year, out, God, let their year end with an exclamation point. God, allow them to enter into a season where they are walking into their wealthy places, God, their land of Canaan, their land that flows with milk and honey. God, give them breakthroughs that will set even their great, 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 great grandchildren up for success, God. Give them generational blessings in place of curses. God, we honor you today. Lord, we break every curse off of our families, the curse of poverty, of not enough. God, those curses are broken today, God. And we thank you that instead they're walking to a, a season of just generational blessings. Thank you, God, for the generational blessings that are coming down from heaven today. As we step into this dark and perilous world, we armor up with your full armor, with the better truth around our ways, with the helmet of salvation, with the breastplate of righteousness. God, we wear sandals of peace. We carry the shield of faith and the sword of spirit, which is your word. God, it is your word. With your word, we fight back. And we thank you, God, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We have the victory in you. We honor you, dear God. We bless your holy name. And Lord, we thank you for Avery, Lord. And we call her healed for joy and strength. We call him healed for Jahai and Shania, Lord. We thank you they are healed, Lord God, for our sweet babies, McKinley and Tonto, Mariah, Grace, Lord, and Gabriel, and our new baby, Jeremiah, that we will talk more about, Father. We lift them up to you today, Father. And we thank you that they are strong and mighty in the earth. And warriors, whatever you need today, whatever your petitions are, whatever God has spoken to you on this line today, whatever it is, type it in. Say, Lord, thank you for speaking to my heart today. I know what I need to do. Oh, Lord, thank you for saving my child. Or thank you for saving my marriage. Oh God, thank you for working miracles in my life. I don't care what it looks like. I trust you and I take you at your word. God, we thank you today for the miraculous, Lord God, and we honor you. Lord, even for the lives of Monica and London, we won't forget, Lord God, and we ask you to be with their families and mend their broken hearts. And anyone out there in this holiday season who may be entering into a season of depression, Lord, thank you that right now that depression is being lifted, Lord, and you're giving them reasons to laugh. Full-scale laughter is coming to you right now. God, we thank you for it today. How we honor you, Lord God, for this time together. We expect miracles today. Therefore, we shall receive miracles. Please bless the warrior nation. How we honor you, Father. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen.
I love you guys very much. Uh, make sure you go check out the store now. We got the sale going for y'all today. And remember, the Miracle Throw orders go in on Tuesday. Love you guys very much. You mean the world to me. I love you, love you, love you. And I'll check on you guys later. As long as Brittany says I got everything. Brittany says I did good. All right. If Brittany says I did good, that means I did good. You guys have a wonderful day. I love you so much. We thank God that you're receiving the answers to your prayers.